Hello, welcome to my new video. Today with Shazam, I have two um, one-click boxes from uh, Film Arena and HDZ. Both are really similar. They are really uh, similar additions to um, the Aquaman Aquaman boxes. Uh, I also have both uh, one-clicks, Film Arena and HDZ ones. And uh, this is again uh, one. Um, usually, a film in a hard box has um, only two full slips. In this case, like the Aquaman one, Aquaman one, uh, this one has three full slips. I don't know how many hard boxes. Actually, nearly all hard boxes have only two full slips. So, and uh, the HD Zeta. Uh, one-click box with this lenticular cover. It has three um, three full slips, but uh, only two of them are normal full slips with a still book. So, but I will explain it later. Here are the film arena full slips, and now to the HD Zeta one. It's magnetic. It can be opened here, and here are the full slips. So, now, here are the three full slips um, from Film Arena. <clears throat> uh, and three full slips from HD Zeta. And here are the, uh, the J cards from all three full slips and the mm, and the hard box the this one click box from film arena and here's this beautiful and sturdy beacon sturdy box the so called hard box number 23 every hard box has has a number for example, exp um, Aquaman had a number of 19, uh, Expendables 9, Deadpool 2, 16, and here's with this partial gloss and this, this great beautiful structure, and the number. I have a number of 276 of um, 500, and here is the HDZ collector's box with as usual with this beautiful lenticular picture. It's similar structure to other one click boxes that I that I have. I have already uh, made uh, some videos um, of um, Aquaman Argo and Ready Player One. The other boxes. 84 of 700. So now let's take a look on all the full slips. The three Film Arena ones without their content. The three Film Arena ones and uh, three kind of three HD Zeta ones. So the mm, comic artwork that's a single lenty of film arena the double lenty of film arena and uh, all the four slips have completely well, somewhat completely different content, which is the reason why I decided to buy the one clicks. For example, um, if you have something like um, Kimchi full slips or Mental Lab or Nova Media, all the full slips look differently, but the content is uh, pretty much the same. Ah, stunning. Now the null entity. Whereas here, um, Film Arena, all three full slips of Film Arena, in this case, have 
different steelbooks. I will show them later and I will make one of my usual uh, steelbook comparisons later. So now the HDZ one with this lenticular and flip flop effect. It's a double lenti. And uh, as usual for HDZ, the full slips have um yeah have another side so it's so it's front is on the other side well nothing uh well it's nothing that would disturb me well here uh uh yeah it's a single lenty of hz and it has actually the same artwork as the film arena one both are a little bit different. Uh, the film arena one is somewhat darker. I think they are both beautiful. I think the the HDZ one is a little bit better because it's it's lighter and has a real a little bit better 3D effect but the film arena one is really great nonetheless. Yeah and the big side. Now to the HTZ No Lenti. It's a full slip. Very nice. Really beautiful. Well, I like Lenti. Uh, well, I like Lenti is always better than the normal ones, but it's nonetheless it's really beautiful. But uh, it doesn't have actually no. It it doesn't have any still book or something in it. It has uh, the bonus content of the one-click box. If you buy this one separately, it will have the very same content as uh, this four slip. Uh, well, with uh, only a, a different um, a different numbering card. We'll show the extra content at the end of the video. Now to the content. The film arena ones are somewhat similarly structured with a booklet, a still book, all have different still books, it's a horizontal art book, and uh, the cards are stored inside the still book, and the HZ ones. With an exclusive still book, um, the cards and and booklets are stored within this folder, and the numbering card is also inside the folder. So different folders. So where should I begin? I begin with the booklets. So it's uh, as usual, somewhat like a thirty-six page booklets. with some text um, in English. The great thing about Filmana, you, you, you don't see that it's a, it's it's actually an edition from, from Czech Republic. Filmarena is based in Czech Republic, but mostly, especially in the new editions, you, you don't see it. In some older ones, you had um, an, an exclusive Czech uh, still book with only English and Czech languages, language options, but and sometimes even with English text, uh, Czech text, like on the steel book itself, like uh, like on the Expendables uh, one and two steel book. But I won't show all of uh, the complete um, booklets, otherwise it would take too long. Um, yeah, somewhat the same artwork, but the the booklets are really different mm, with some similar artwork sometimes well but nowadays they they don't do it mostly don't do it anymore it's, it's very international edition whereas Asian editions mostly have um, the the booklets are in Korean or Japanese and sometimes also in English as edition. That's uh, horizontal ones as usual. 
the artbook let's only very nice so now to the HGZ one they have folders Only the double lenty has um, a booklet. Other have uh, cards. I will show them uh, together with other cards. So it's a sticker on the box. Uh, here's a booklet. And this one is um, an art book only. The the images are not that stunning as, for example, in Ready Player One or Aquaman, but it's that Shazam doesn't have that that crazy imagery and that yeah, very nice. I like I like this artwork on the front, really beautiful. Now to the cards. The cards are stored um, in uh, in folders, in small folders in Film Arena 1. Um, here's from the one lenty. And the folders are stored in the steelbook itself. I hope you can see it. So. Uh, here, this uh, every edition has its own sticker, and also a hard box has its own sticker. So this one is the edition dr three, and here is the numbering card. Ah, oh, really beautiful. And here are the cards. The back side. And here are some photo cards. Unfortunately, there is only one set of cards in each uh, film on the full slip. Now to another to the um, another folder. Edition 2 is the sticker. And here is a beautiful numbering card, Edition 2. Uh, usually in, in most, um, in most film and full slips you have at least two sets of cards, often uh, smaller cards, also smaller character cards, but in this case they decided to to make only one set for each edition, um, the same problem with uh, well, problem the same the same thing with Aquam, Aquaman. Well, so this was the second one, the double lenty, and now to the no lenty. At first, the sticker. Ah, well, wrong. The sticker of the edition one. Ah, really nice. Shame that they didn't use this uh, this artwork for for a full slip. And for the hard box, for the complete one-click box. And. A numbering card. These numbering cards are um, always uh, on the outside on the J card of the box of the of the full slips. In the Gisetta editions, uh, the numbering cards are in the folders. Yeah, and here are some character cards. They're similar to the cards that you get with the HGZ edition. They will show later. All the characters. The Darla. The Mary. 
<laughs> Mary. Mary. Very well, looking forward for the second part where you will see the whole family of superheroes. Not only in the end scene, in the in the final scene, but also in the, the complete movie. Very nice. Now to the HGZ. Begin with the uh, with the double lenty. And here is a numbering card. Not the same credit card format. And here are the postcards. Such a fun movie. It's it's difficult to make uh, this uh, this kind of movie and don't make it really childish and and some kind of a kids movie but this one it, it it really manages to 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 keep some well to still be interesting for adults for also adults and keep their childlike qualities so now to the uh to the single lenty. Yes, at first the numbering card that was always stored here. In the really beautiful artwork. Well, the cards uh, here are some cards, but they are nothing special. It's like the character cards from the film Iron edition, but without the back side, only postcard. With the HDZ logo. This edition doesn't have any booklet. It, instead, it has two medium-sized posters. Especially this artwork is simply amazing. I saw um, that uh, th uh, there were plans to uh, to make this either a front side of a steel book or a front side of a um, full slip. For example, a mental lab, falsely, but uh, this idea was scrapped. It was cancelled, unfortunately. There is also no Shazam mental lab, falsely, like Aquaman one, because they cancelled the I, they cancelled them, unfortunately. Now the still books. Uh, I will compare them at the end of the video, uh, and at first uh, to the. Uh, to the bonus stuff uh, that was stored in this um, extra, uh, extra full slip in HGZ, so you you actually have only full two full slips uh, in the HGZ one click, unfortunately, uh, and the third full slip is additional content, and here is a hardcover book and some lenticular cards. It's a very, very nice book. It's like a um, kid's notebook. It's a notebook of Freddie Freeman from, from the movie. Very creative. Some connections to the DC universe. Because it's actually Shazam is actually a part of DCU. Don't have many connections yet. But it's still a part, and it's one of the most beautiful booklets that you that you can get. Suppose this one was also sold with some other editions, but I don't know where you could get it. Probably as a prop, or you could buy it separately. This one is really beautiful. Some of those booklets booklets are really boring with some uninteresting pictures, but. From, from, from filming, but this one is just stunning. It's a huge, it's kinda 80 pages or something. A 
Really nice addition. <clears throat> but it's really difficult to open for the video at least. Extremely nice, so beautiful. So now the lenticular cards, and here are the beautiful lenticular cards in each, in in um, the individual um, envelope. With the consistent color, and this is Freddie Freeman, the Shazam himself. And the other members of the family. Same procedure as in Ready Player One, the same structure as in Ready Player One, one click on and Aquaman Aquaman one click. Some other additions like for example Argo, uh, you don't get uh, those lenticular ones, you only get normal cards. It's not that spectacular as in some other editions because the background is always the same. Another color, but well, and now finally, let's compare the still books. If you like what I'm doing, consider subscribing to my channel and leave a thumb up. So, we begin with, uh, with this uh, one lenty comic artwork um, full slip. There's also a still book that has a similar. Uh, artwork. I don't. Uh, there are. I, I saw that there are some, at least two, three, or four. At least, at least two uh, other still books. But it's well. By now, I don't want to collect them all. <clears throat> and here's what's inside. It's a blue, blue, ray. Um, Still book only. This beautiful embossing. Like the Aquaman still books that don't have any, mostly don't have any embossing or debossing. It's actually the front side. And here's the back side. So, and here is the very same artwork. Here is this artwork without any discs. I have to be honest, there are, well, there are so many other beautiful artworks, so it's, it's not the worst one, but, well, it's not the best one either. And, well, because it's so great, they chose to use the very same artwork uh, in every single still book. So as usual for Filmarena, uh, that's uh, one from the No Lenti. As usual for Filmarena, that's I suppose exclusive for Filmarena. If you uh, don't have a lenticular full slip, you get a lenticular still book cover, magnetic still book cover. Very beautiful, and here's actually the still book. Every one, every single still book is different. It's simply great, and this one is also embossed. Very nice, and here's what's inside: the same artwork. And now, last but definitely not least, the HD Zeta still book. Of course, both uh, all the HD Zeta full slips have the very same still book. So the other one is wrapped, and there are no cards inside. The cards are stored always outside in this folder. And this one is the boss, as I said before, the exclusive HD Zeta exclusive 
it's really beautiful and here's the back side with this golden metallic effect very very nice now let's compare all the spines These two are somewhat in line. This is for some reason somewhat higher. It doesn't really make much sense. And this one with some different color is the HDZ exclusive one. With 4K Ultra HD, which is not always correct. Because this one is from the 3D version. And all of them have the same the same in artwork so so folks subscribe to my channel it would help me a lot um, leave a thumb up and let me know in the comments below how did you like the movie Shazam and how do you like this beautiful editions till the next time bye bye